Hi everyone, um, this video is about um, event tracking and how you can create a custom report in order to just get uh, the value that, that we expect. So um, what we want to solve is this issue. So by default within Matmo you have this great report telling you about the events. Uh, you get the total number of events which occurred over the life of your website. But when it comes to customize this uh, report, for example, adding another custom dimension or any other things, uh, you are struggling in uh, the custom report because within the custom report, as you can see out of the metrics available here, you don't have the metric event. Okay, so most of the time, one tend to play over here and pick up the total event value which end up in something totally different because it's about the event value and the idea is to see today how we can fix that out so um let's uh, let's see so we have a website over here in this website i'm in fact measuring uh, different tags i'm measuring click event tracking i'm measuring scroll tracking and the idea is how to create a custom report in order to just isolate this one by crossing it with with a dimension so uh let's uh, let's get started so i'm having my website over here i'm performing some uh, actions so let's say i'm gonna click here so it's gonna fire some clicks i'm gonna scroll down so it's gonna make a scroll um i'm gonna maybe go on another page oops okay i'm gonna scroll again uh, i'm gonna click uh here i'm gonna click here and um, at the end of the day now what i want to get is just the uh, number two okay i just want to get a custom report saying that i got to scroll and i don't want to get the, the clicks um, so if now i look back within my data it's what i'm gonna have so for the day of today so let's pick up the day of today i'm having all those uh, interaction as you can see i'm getting my two scrolls here and I don't want to get all those, uh, oh, by the way, I have another one here. Uh, so I want to get one, two, three, uh, four, five. Okay, so a lot. Uh, and that's it. But I don't want to get the other events. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's go for it. So I'm going to pick up this uh, value over here. And I'm going to create my custom report. So manage custom report. And... I'm gonna create. I'm gonna create my custom report. So this one should just be the scroll uh, tracking total event count. And uh, um, I need to pick up. So in my case, that was the events. Um, I think it was the event name which was carrying the value scroll. Hold on. Oops. So have interactions called calls. I could have picked up either the name or either something else. So, okay, I'm just gonna pick up the name. That should be fine. And here, uh, I'm just gonna take like the hour. Okay, so just to let you know hour. Uh, why am I doing so? Uh, the idea is to show you that, yes, you can create a, a custom report based on event with different um, dimensions. And here in the matrix, and this is where the matrix happens, we need to select bits. Okay. Uh, by the way, I could as well go for, we saw that was the total events. I think here total events probably will be equal because that's, I'm the same visitor. So, okay, and here uh, you need to change a couple of things here. You just need to change the event name. Event name. Event name is, in our case, this is scroll. This is cool, um, and I can preview the report. So normally I should get the total of, so that's, okay, that's interesting. As you can see here, total events means the number of total events that this given individual made um, over, all its, over all its visits. And five represent the number of scrolls, but we're gonna double uh, check that out. So let's, uh, let's create it. Bim. And we are going to see if the count is right. So uh, now we are going to select our uh, stroke tracking total event count. So on one side, we are having ups, my own uh, visit. So let's make the mathematics. Um, da, 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 da. I'm getting scroll. So first, okay, second, third, 
So one, two, three, four, five. So normally I should get five at the end of the day. Okay, do I have what else? Okay. I think that I don't, right? I just have I just have those five. Uh so that's exactly it. Getting five. And the total events, so number 14, so for this given, in my case, uh, individual, I should get 15 events. So let's make the mathematics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. So either I'm not good at math, so I'm going <laughs> to... Calculate it again. One, ah, okay. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze et quinze. So fifteen uh, in total. So uh, that's it. In fact, that's how you can, uh, in fact, create your custom report. It's just about selecting the value its instead of uh, events that you cannot find, and then you are getting, in fact, the number of events for your given custom reports. Um, hope that helped and that you're gonna enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.